Hey guys, Easy167 here, and today we're gonna show you a game called Kodu Game Lab. Um, normally I'm joined by my brother, but I'm still joined by my brother, but my other one. Say hi. Hey. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna show you a game that actual the people who made Kodu made, and then we're going to um kind of teach you how to make it yourself. So here we go. I'm gonna go low, low world. Load world, and if you go to samples, here we go, and we're gonna show you how to make this one, roadkill. Seems pretty fun. So we're gonna play it first. Um, here we go. All right. So As you can see, there's little people moving back and forth. Enemies are being created. And destroyed. Oh, this is tough. How do I get to it? Okay, go, 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 go. If you think about it, it's kind of like Leapfrog or something. Yeah, Frogger. Yeah, nice. Frogger. Wonder. Nice. But as you can see, if I touch these guys, and moves, wait, it made me dizzy for the first. This is smart. But look, if I touch these guys, game, game over. So, this is what we're going to try and do. And we think we can do it. So, we're going to go ahead and exit out. And we're going to make a new world. Here we go. So, first we have to start off with the land, of course. Yep. And we're going to make it an even square, so to do that, we're just going to, as you can see in the left, they have the controls. So we're going to make the brush size much bigger. And how big do you want it like that? That's good. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, it's a different color. Yeah. Okay. You want to keep it like that? Mm. Or you want it to be grass? Maybe we should be, make it be grass. Okay. So if you go and you press Y, material picker, comes up with a bunch of uh, things. And you have to use L and R to switch through them. And if we can find the grass, that would be good. I don't think, there we go. This. And if we press A to replace it. Nice. So, now we're going to actually start adding objects in. So Okay, uh, we're going to start with Kodu, of course. Which is our character. So, mm -hmm. go ahead. Oh, this is and our guy. What color should we make him? Uh, I don't know. Hmm. Let's go green. Right now. Good enough. Alright, so... Now we're gonna add the ending, which is going to be a, just a different material. Maybe we should put Kodu on the other side because it looks like that side is kind of shorter. Um, yeah, it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna add different. We're gonna make the brush size much smaller, and we're gonna do a new uh. Wait, where is it? A tool menu. No. Uh, brush picker, here we go. And we're gonna make it this, a linear square brush, so we can just get it nice and straight. And then do it. Oh, it's like, uh, let's go a little bit more. Oh, that's good. I, just, I don't want it to be, like, too easy. Yeah. So, we go like that. And if we change the material, wait, no. Material picker, my bad. And we, let's line this up again. So, we'll do, what do you want? This one? Hmm. Well, red, the red one, maybe. This one? Mm hmm. Alright, and if we go line this up. Again. <laughs> and if we press A, there we go. It's nice, like flowers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, now we're gonna go back and start adding more. Uh, okay, so since in the other roadkill there is. It was kind of like road and then grass. Should we make it like that or? Uh, not for now. We could do that uh, later. But now we're gonna focus on the real programming of it, and then we're gonna make it look pretty. So, so we're gonna add the what they had um spawning in the cycles. They had these things called sticks. Where are they? Oh, well, they're here. Wait, they should be in that menu. Oh yeah, they're sticks. So if we have them line up, okay, we're good. And if we program them, we're gonna have to make a creatable first. So in order to do that, pick whatever object you like, cycle, and we can make it whatever color. Let's do How about yellow. Yellow. And if we press X on it, it comes up with a bunch of different items, and we're gonna press creatable. Now, now it can be created by any object. So we're gonna do this, and we're going to make. We're gonna do every how how long? Hmm. How about two or three? 
whatever you pick. Alright, we're going to go three, uh, yeah, that's right. And then we, if we go to actions, and we go to create, and then creatables, it's cycle one. So it'll create the cycle. So if you look, if you press start, wait for it, and create. So, but as you can see, the cycle just stands there, it doesn't do anything. So, so what we have to do is we have to make it move back and forth, making it harder for the Kodu to get across to the finish line. Exactly. So we're going to make a path for it to move along. If you go over here to the little path thing, press plane, move down. Alright, uh, we can line this up. Good enough. And then we'll make it a random color. We'll make it yellow since that one's yellow. And then, how many rows do you want? Three, four? Four. Four? Okay. So if we... You want to copy this guy and then... Uh, paste? No, paste mm. him four times. No, how about we make two of the other two on the other side? Go right there. And one last one here. Right near the finish line. Yep. Right. Now you just have to make the paths. Yep. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make the paths different colors just so the robots don't get too confused. Yeah. Or the sticks, whatever. It is. Alright, we have oops, we have the colors. So well, this colors. one will make it red. This next one will make it green. And the last one will make it black. Nah. Because all the other colors are so bright. How about blue? Or is that the for color of the first one? No, it's yellow. Oh, okay, nice. Blue. These are colorful and such. Yeah. So, now we have to program this guy, so we're going to just stand there. So, we're going to go, and we're going to do when. Uh, no, always, because we wanted to always follow the path. Huh? And we're going to do um, actions. And... Uh, Okay. Uh, move against the path, so move. And quickly, of course. Yeah, on path, and then we're gonna make it, uh, ooh, actually, the first one. You're gonna need, you're gonna need four of these guys. So, okay, so if we just duplicate them, we're gonna go So, on path, we're gonna do yellow for this guy. Yellow. And then we'll do quickly, quickly, quickly. Three times. Yeah, and so we're gonna duplicate this guy. Three times. And make them all creatables. Oops, what did I do? What are you doing that? This is just a random question, but can this game or programmer be used on any other device besides Windows laptop? Uh, it's actually on Xbox. So, nice. if you want to program on Xbox, you can. It's not too much. It's an indie game, so it's not too much money. Um, but it's free on laptop, so that's why I have it on laptop. So, the program to create creatables is going to do cycle one. Uh, uh, not once. Well, yeah, once. We don't want to create a bunch of times. Oh, we could just make it different colors. Oh, yeah. random. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so cycle one is a yellow guy. We're going to make cycle two the red guy. We're going to make cycle three the green. And cycle and make... four the blue. Ooh. Nice. So, uh, this guy's program is uh, create cycle 1. Alright, so this guy down here is going to do cycle 2. And 
and this guy's gonna be so good. And this last guy is going to do Psycho Core. Alright, so now we have that. Um, uh, let's test it. Oh, I can't even move yet, hold on. <laughs> okay, so we're going to program our Kodu to move on the with the gamepad, using the gamepad, you know. And he's going to be moving forward? Yeah, but, uh... I program it for the left stick. You can program with anything really, but I got the left left stick. That's the easiest. And then I'm gonna do uh, move quickly, quickly, quickly. And also I wanna make this guy a bit faster. So if I press X on him, it comes up with a uh, thing so I can faster. So I'm gonna put them all on 2.0. So he's a speedy guy. There we go. And let's test. Spawn. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Nice, this is like this. No, no. Phew. Almost got you there. How did I get on this one? Uh, I put it on once. I shouldn't have did that. Wait, once. Once makes him only spawn once. Yeah. Oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Now let's try it. I'm just gonna watch him for a second. There we go. Then the next three seconds they should put. There we go. Nice. Oh, that's too much. That's too much. <laughs> no. Ah, see if you can make it. This is hard. Oh, it just I touched when I saw that. Jeez. Okay, but when you touch it, you're actually supposed to explode. So let's program it to not explode, but. There should be a consequence for when you touch it, so let's program Kodu to do that. Okay. Yeah, we'll make it so you explode. So, but when the game first starts, I want you to be, like, as you can see in, with um, Roadkill, the guy was dizzy at the beginning, so that way it gave him a chance to spawn in. So that's what I'm going to do for this one. I'm going to make it, I'm not sure if I can do it. Let's see. Um... When the first start actions, um, uh, uh, yeah, wait, I'm not sure how to do that. Hmm. Oops, maybe we should just worry about it later. Yeah. Oops. Alright, don't worry about it later. No, no, we're gonna say something. Alright. We'll do that later. So, oh yeah, so you die when you hit it. So if I go to, uh, bump, cycle, any cycle, um, actions, uh, game. Now I want to vanish first. So, if I do, no, combat. Boom. Boom. Me. And then also, if you bump into the cycle. Game over. Right. And. Right. Let's try it. So, I bump into these guys. So and let's, let's show them first. Here we go. Ready? Oh, the game didn't end, though. I want the game to end. Hmm. Did you put what's gonna end? Maybe you should try that. I'll put that first. Okay. There we go. There we go. So that happens. But as you can see, but as you can see, there's a lot of them. So, um, but yeah, guys, this is a uh, code. We're gonna finish this game later and make it look better and such stuff like that. Uh, if you liked, then like, subscribe, it's easy, and we'll see y'all later. Bye!